Hey, how's it going everyone? This is White Pointer, and I wanted to do a more light-hearted video this time around. Uh, I'm also just getting over a throat infection, so I apologise if my voice sounds a little hoarse. So, my internet and online gaming screen name is White Pointer. My channel is called White Pointer Gaming, obviously, and if you weren't aware, White Pointer is another name for the Great White Shark that we commonly use in Australia. I've always had a fascination with sharks, and that's where my screen name comes from, if you've ever wondered. I've recently been playing around with Nintendo's Labo Variety Kit for the Switch, and in it, there's a fishing minigame that you can play using a cardboard rod that you construct yourself. You can catch a variety of sea creatures in this game, including a great white shark. But when I saw it, it didn't quite look right. So, how accurate is the great white shark in Nintendo Labo Fishing? First, let's quickly run through the other creatures that you can catch in the game. There's a mackerel, though there are a number of different species of mackerel, and the game doesn't specify which one this is actually supposed to be. Uh, based on what it looks like, my best guess is a chub mackerel, also called the Pacific mackerel. And, as you can see, it looks pretty close to the real thing. Then you have the Red Sea Brim, which again, is pretty damn faithful. And if you look closely, they even added the small blue spots the fish has. Great attention to detail. The Red Stingray. Uh, I'm not too familiar with this specific species actually, but based on these photos I found, this too is pretty accurate, even though it looks more orange or yellow than red. The Spotted Eagle Ray. This one is bang on. Very accurate. When I played the game, I was able to identify this immediately. Ocean Sunfish. Once again, pretty much spot on and easily identifiable. Humphead Rass. This one is bang on yet again. It's actually pretty impressive how accurate it is. Yellowfin Pufferfish. Yep, that looks about right. It even puffs up as you're reeling it in after hooking it, which is a nice attention to detail. Pacific Bluefin Tuna. Tuna have a very distinct body shape, which makes this one pretty easy to determine as well. Unfortunately, these are becoming endangered, but they are now the likeness regardless. Longtooth Groper. This one again is very accurate when you look at it next to the photo. Indo-Pacific Sailfish. Sometimes misidentified as a swordfish, but that's not correct as the swordfish doesn't have that distinct sail. This photo shows they pulled off the look of the physical body as well as the colouring. Nice work. Atlantic football fish. A species of angler fish, the elysium or fishing rod should have some tendrils sticking out of it, but apart from that, it's pretty darn close. Finally, the giant crab, which is actually a Tasmanian giant crab, and not to be confused with the Japanese spider crab. Once again, they nailed it. So this brings us to the great white shark. This unfortunately isn't particularly accurate, and it stands out because the rest of the animals have been very faithfully recreated and look very much like they do in real life. Let's start with the obvious one, the eyes. A great white shark's eyes look almost completely black at first glance, though if the light is correct you can see they actually have a blue iris. They are also pretty circular shaped and sit cleanly on the outside of the head. The game's great white, for some reason, has green eyes. Really? How could I get that wrong? I wouldn't have even minded if they were just completely black, but green? Of all colours, green? Not only that, but they are more oval shaped, and they set in an eye socket, making it look like it has angry eyebrows. Now, the general body shape of the shark is reasonably close if you look at it from side on, but it's not close enough. Its pectoral fins are not quite the right shape or size, they should be larger than that and should be arching backwards further. The tail is also wrong. Completely wrong, actually. It's not even close to the right shape, and it's way too small. The colouring is also off. While the grey and white patterning is present, it's not particularly distinct, and as you can see with the real life animal, the difference between the grey and the white is very prominent. The head is the biggest problem, and I'm not just talking about the eyes. The jaws and teeth aren't accurate, which I would have thought should have been pretty important to get right. 
The top and bottom teeth in real life are different shapes, with the bottom teeth being longer and skinnier than the top teeth. When the shark closes its mouth, the top teeth retract and you can't see them, but you can see the bottom teeth. In the game, both the upper and lower teeth are about the same shape and size, and when it closes its mouth, the top teeth protrude out while the bottom teeth disappear, like it has an overbite. The snout is also noteworthy. I, I mean, look at this. A great white snout is actually pointed, hence the name White Pointer. It's shaped kind of like a bullet, but in the game, it's far too broad. And while we're looking at it from underneath, the Great White is kind of a fat shark, as you can see. But the body of this one in the game is far too skinny. So, yeah. While almost all of the creatures you can catch in the game are pretty authentically recreated, the Great White Shark really misses the mark. If the game didn't tell you this was supposed to be a Great White Shark, you might not have even been able to identify it. I mean, yeah, this is just a little mini game that's part of a bigger Labo experience, but I found the lack of attention to detail with it kind of jarring, considering how meticulously precise the other animals are portrayed, especially given it's supposed to be the showpiece fish that you can catch. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this slightly different video, and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop me some comments below if you like, I do read all of them, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with my content. See you next time!